Hi, my name is Donna, a volunteer with the Medical Reserve Corps of Greater Kansas City. In this video, we will demonstrate the safe way to use a cane, or crutches. A cane is used if an individual has a small problem with balance or instability or some weakness in one of their legs. Explain to the individual that you are going to assist them in using a cane. Place the cane in their hand opposite of the side that needs support. Check the height of the cane. The top of the cane should be even with the crease on the underside of their wrist when their arms are relaxed at their side. Their elbows should bend a bit when they hold their cane. Be sure the path they will be taking is free of throw rugs, cords, and clutter. Encourage the individual to position the cane about one small stride ahead and then take a step with the weakened leg. Finish the step with the normal leg. When they walk, the cane and the weakened leg swing and strike the ground at the same time. They should continue that pattern. Stress the importance of standing up straight. They should look forward and not down at their feet. When using stairs, have the individual grasp the handrail with their free hand and step up on their good leg first with the cane in the opposite hand of the weakened leg. Have them bring the cane up and then bring up the weakened leg. To go down the stairs, have the individual put their cane on the step first, then their weakened leg, and finally their good leg, which carries their body weight. Explain to the individual that you are going to assist them in using crutches. Place the crutches under the individual's arms. The top of the crutches should reach between one to one and a half inches below their armpits when they are standing up straight. The hand grips of the crutches should be even with the top of their hip line. Their elbows should bend slightly when using the hand grips. Have the individual hold the top of the crutches tightly to their sides and have them use their hands to absorb their weight. They should not let the tops of the crutches press into their armpits. When walking with crutches, have the individual lean forward slightly and put their crutches about one foot ahead of them. They should begin the step as if they are going to use their injured leg but have them shift their weight to the crutches instead of the injured leg. Their body will swing forward between the crutches. They will then finish the step normally with the uninjured leg. When the uninjured leg is on the ground, have them move the crutches ahead in preparation for the next steps. Encourage them to stay focused on where they are heading, not on their feet. Have the individual back up to a sturdy chair. They should put their injured leg in front of them and place both crutches in one hand. Have them use their other hand to feel for the arm of the chair. They should lower themselves slowly to the chair. They can lean the crutches upside down in a handy location next to their chair. To stand up, have the individual scoot forward in their chair. They should hold both crutches in the hand on the side of the good leg. Have them stand on their good leg. Before attempting to use the stairs, be sure the individual is strong enough to climb stairs. Facing the stairs, have the individual hold the handrail with one hand and tuck both crutches under their armpit on the other side. When going up, have the individual step up with their good leg, keeping the injured leg raised behind them. When going down, have them hold their injured leg up in front and hop down each step on the good leg as they hold the handrail. Be sure they take one step at a time. It might be easier for the individual to use the stairs by sitting and inching their way up or down each step. They should keep their injured leg out in front. 
have them scoot their bottom up to the next step using their free hand and good leg for support. They can hold the crutches flat against the stairs in their opposite hand. 